Day 8 of 12 days of anime is upon us and today we're gonna talk about something quite different although it is still anime don't worry about that it's still very much anime or manga depending on how you look at it I mean it's both technically we're gonna talk about like shonen tropes and when I say tropes I mean the more cliche tropes the ones that people typically hate like the power of friendship or the child of prophecy and the reason I've decided to talk about these is because I feel fucking hate them as well. Let's start with something rather smooth and you know quite tame, something that a lot of people probably dislike and that's the power of friendship. You've most likely encountered this trope or this whatever it may be. Watching or reading fairy tale, I mean it's not the only example but it's the example I'm gonna give even though I did enjoy fairy tale quite a lot for the most part. The whole friendship power of bullshit really made me mad okay. I kind of touched upon this yesterday when I was talking talking about Eden Zero in the sense that Eden Zero didn't have any yet but today we're gonna talk about more general I'm only using fair to last an example because it's one of the few at least a few popular I guess anime that I've seen that really overused this power up to the point where it became like the main source of their victories in any fight and that's really not how you want to make your anime or manga grow you really don't want your series to be known for bullshit power-ups which inevitably ends up winning every single fight fight. Anyway, let's move on to the second trope that I want to talk about today, which is also one that I personally really fucking hate. Though this one I think is a bit mixed uh, in the fan bases because not everyone hates this, but I am one of those people that definitely do hate it. And that is the whole child of prophecy sort of trope that you have going for a lot of main characters, especially in shonen. wouldn't say the majority of them, but you do have a few main characters in shonen mangas that really have this trope going and it really shows especially when you look at it in hindsight kind of thing i think my main issue was when this happened in naruto because both naruto and sasuke ended up being children of prophecy kind of thing except you know it was only really given to you at the end of the series which is what really triggered me a lot because that kind of made it feel like everything that he had accomplished in the past you know through hard work and everything that would have been accomplished regardless of how hard he trained really because i mean they were destined to be these people they were destined in fact they were reincarnated legends essentially which i think sucked like i think that really sucked dude and that's the whole reason i think why i hate the whole idea of kaguya being the main antagonist in naruto because she really didn't need to be there like she really didn't if they just stuck with fucking madara as the main antagonist of the series that would have been great and they would never have even had to be brought up as children of prophecy that would have actually made their efforts way more enjoyable and even though the final arc probably still would have sucked to a degree at least the whole children of prophecy and you know it would have had a decent main antagonist it wouldn't have been as shit as him just getting killed off so that kaguya could live and become the new main antagonist i don't know how many chapters she was relevant really because i didn't really read the manga only watched the anime but essentially she was there for a very short time she was barely built up honestly like there was very little build up to her character it just sort of happened out of nowhere and I fucking did not like that at all and the whole children of prophecy trope is the main cause of it I think at least it's at the center of the problem and I know a lot of people agree with me on this like the children of prophecy is like one of these tropes that either you love or you hate you can't really be in between let's be honest here like either you love the idea of a shonen protagonist being this destined superhero kind of character that is just born to become the best but, and then on the other hand you have an actual good main character that actually has has to work for everything he's not really anyone special even if he inherits a power or whatever he still worked a lot to get where he is and there was nothing like there was no special force or anything like guiding him there like in the case of naruto like let's be honest like given the ending you already know it was always gonna happen because they were children of prophecy whereas say in my hero academia or black clover both of these are pretty decent example in my opinion at least as far as we know right now they just worked really hard you know through efforts and training and all that kind of stuff to get where they are right now. In the case of Deku, of course, he kind of inherited his power from All Might, but at the end of the day, he had to train and work hard to make that quirk his own. And in the case of Asta, as we all know, he's a very hard worker. He does a lot 
of physical training, at least at the very beginning of the series. So, like, I'm not throwing shots at either of these two because they're both hard workers. Like, there's no debate on that. And even if you could say the same about Naruto and Sasuke, I mean, they worked hard, yes. But like I said, when something like the whole Children of Prophecy trope is put before you, their training becomes completely redundant. Anyway, I'll end off with that. So let me know what you think down below in the comments about these tropes or if you have any particular tropes that you really either like or dislike. Like, I decided to talk about two tropes that I really don't like in this video, but like, if you want to tell me what tropes you really like, you know, go for it in the comments section. Just know that I'm not really throwing shots at Naruto as a series, only at the main characters, because that's just how it is. Technically, it is at Kishimoto, because he's the one who decided to make them the Children of Prophecy, but yeah. As always, be sure to Detroit smash that like button if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. This has been Chaotic Plus, and remember, Toga is waifu, Toga is laifu.